Hi, this is a great phone. So if you're looking for an affordable, value for money smartphone with a decent camera, decent performance, good battery life, great screen and a fantastic design with options for customizing, stop watching and click the affiliate link in the description below to buy the CMF Phone 1 or buy it whatever you want, just buy it. However though, if you want to stay around, I'll quickly just tell you why I think you should buy it and also go through the few things that I don't really fancy as much about the CMF Phone 1. First, the design is awesome. Even the box in its thick, smooth housing just feels nice. Same goes for the phone, with an easy to hold back that is also interchangeable to really personalize your CMF phone experience. And if you want to go even more hardcore on making your phone your phone, you can also remove the thumbscrew and replace it with one of the right now three accessories, a lineage, stand or card holder. Awesome. Not sure about the quality of the stand though, since mine broke. Might have had a crack in it to begin with, or maybe I tightened it too hard, but still. All right, moving on. Performance of this piece of tech is perfectly on par with the low price of 239 euros for the 128 gigabyte version and 269 euros for the 256 gigabyte version of the phone. Both versions also have a micro SD card option for up to two terabyte of extra storage. So yeah. System chip is the MediaTek Dimensity 7300 that performs excellent for basically everything, again especially considering the price. RAM is also a fair 8GB on all storage versions. Also perfectly decent. The display is a 6.67 inch AMOLED one with a 1080 by 2400 pixels and 120 hertz adaptive refresh rate. 700 nits normal brightness and a peak one of 2000 nits. Again, fair. And the screen looks absolutely perfect. Even better than what you'd expect for the price. The one camera on the back, the other one is a depth sensor camera kind of thingy with its 50 megapixel resolution is also decent, especially in fairly lit environments, but it works fine even in darker conditions. The only thing it does lack is a little bit of sharpness, but it's nothing major. Pun. The selfie camera with its 16 megapixel resolution is, like on most smartphones, fine for what it is. On the inside, the phone runs Android 14 with the full Nothing OS 2.6 from the normal Nothing phones. Still haven't mentioned that CMF is a daughter company, brands thingy of Nothing, meaning that you'll get all the things with the monochrome icons and also the excellent choice of not including a ton of useless commercial apps. Looking at you, basically all other phone companies. Battery life is also good, with a 5300 mm amps battery that both keeps the phone alive for about two days with normal use and is also capable of receiving 33 watts of charge. The phone also supports 5 watt reverse charging for when you need it. My really only petty concerns here are firstly that the promised two years of Android upgrades and the three years of security upgrades are a bit on the short side compared to what's going on when it comes to longevity in the mobile industry at the moment, as well as that the phone completely lacks any NFC capabilities. But seriously, apart from that, just watch the first 20 seconds of this video again. All right, those are my thoughts on the CMF Phone 1. Please share any of your thoughts or questions in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.